What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be taking this tech deck right here and upgrading it with these components. Now let's check these out. Now for starters we're going to take the wheels off the tech deck penny board. Then replace the grip tape with finger space silicone grip. And last up some finger space bushings with stickers. Alright so let's start off by getting these wheels off the penny board. Adios amigos. Bye bye motherfucker. And now throw them straight on the Performance Series deck so they get the nice, awesome, thick, giant wheels that just going to make it pop and stand out from the rest. Dope, ain't it? Now onto the finger space bushings. The best bushings, the only bushings, the holy bushings, the bushings that I personally use and love. And this is a long process, so I'm going to be quiet now, and you just enjoy the scenario of me screwing these things on and making them look amazing. Amazing, right? And now my least favorite part is cutting the grip. With silicone grip, you just don't, like, razor it down like you would with foam. You have to gently cut it in the shape of your board and then gently place it on properly, which is a little more tedious, but also at the same time, not too bad once you get used to it. So now we're going to gently place the sticker so I know what's the nose and what's the tail, and it just adds a little spark with that clear silicone grip, so it kind of gives you like some design on the top and on the bottom, so it makes it look more dope in my opinion. Now when you first start off with the grip, you want to line it up and maybe take just the nose or the tail off of the grip tape and then gently peel it back as you work it like I am because it makes it so much easier to apply this type of grip without getting fingerprints on the bottom of the silicone. Isn't that beautiful? So guys, to answer your question, success or fail? I gotta say success. Until next time, see you guys later. Bye bye.